There he is. Where you going, Ronnie? Hey, where are you going? I'm going to use that to clean all that this afternoon. Carol wants a patio or back, so I've been evicted. All my plants have been shifted around to the front or elsewhere. So she can display these. It's pretty dirty after all the plant food that I've been chucking down all winter. All the algae. Compost everywhere. Strawberries are fair coming on now. Can I wait to taste them? Cambridge favourites apparently. Transplanted quite well, lads. I thought it was going to die. Some of the leaves have tailed off a bit, but it's coming back. Some radishes, beetroot, naughty marietta, leeks. I'm still filling this up, by the way. Peas all at the back, I'm going to take them nets off the big thick nets at the back, they can come off now. Meteor peas, Petit Provencal, and Hurst Green Chaff peas. And then all my wilder, what are these? Shallots, Gourmet shallots. Rocket there, that's gone to flower. Still edible, I suppose. What are you doing, mister? Hey? Garlic. Can you see what they are now? Cork white and the Eden rose, I'm sure. Aye. More shallots. He's under there. He's under there. It's a lovely day today, so I'm going to get on now and start this jet washing, and I'll do a, an after video later on, and then join the two of them together. All done now. Didn't that long. The new steps up we're in. Let it all dry in now. It's all the plants that's left for the patio. Always looks lovely up here when it's done. Looks like brand new all over again.
Now I've just got to bring everything back together now and put everything away. New barbecue needed, I think. I think this is at its 16 years service medal now. The new home for all my onions and shallots. Then I've been evicted from the other patio. Been sent down to the council bit. I think I can start harvesting these next month, I, th I believe. Dying to taste them, they're like banana shallots, they're more commonly known as. Japanese mustard. Little rocket. I think I ran out of seeds that I, I think I, I expected more seeds to be in the packet than what was actually there. But never mind. Gotta get in here next. All the other herbs are in there. Ready to come out. Some of them. Some water plants. I need to repot them tomato plants as well in bigger pots. I would have done that today, but I was jet washing, so I'll have to get done tomorrow. And then put all the crap back in the shed. There's nothing in that one as yet. I'm going to, I've got a ventilation panel to put in the doors, it's about there. There's a one inside at the back. I'll actually show you in a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. There it is. Uh, that's me barrel down there the, with a the yellow lid. That's me seaweed tea. A big bag of seaweed that I brought back from Troon. I put it in there and you've got to stir it every couple of days and mix it with water. Uh, it's 10 litres of water. But the fertiliser you get off there is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, look at the vent there. Done quite a good job there for the DIY. So I've got another one of them vents, same size, to go somewhere down here. But I couldn't get any gorilla tape, the double sided tape, until the, yesterday Carol brought us in two rolls, so I'm going to do that tomorrow probably. <clears throat> Jet wash the chairs as well, as I do every year. They always come up like brand new. And I'll show you all the flowers before, but. And it just look that way. It might look different in the daylight compared to what it was earlier on with the sun on them. And the little wild garlic flowers there. Apparently you can eat all of that. All the leaves, the whole thing. But you just don't pull the bulb up. And it just keeps coming back every year. But I've been advised to leave it this year because it's newly, well it's not newly planted, I planted these last year at the very end of the year but this is basically its first summer so I think I'll leave them this year and start getting some next year probably and the comfrey at the back, that's to make more tea for the plants chop all them leaves off and put them in that barrel I told, showed you earlier on there but that's for later on in the year so I think that's about it. Love the colours of some of these tulips.
the snowdrops eventually came up. They should have been up in uh, February normally. Oh, a bit of damage from the. Oh no. A bit of damage from the jet wash there. Ah, it'll come back. The strawberries there, that's what I've been feeding with the seaweed tea. And the size of them now. It's like they're on steroids. Plant steroids. Right, catch us all later.